Hello friends. Happy Friday. We made it. I feel like this week like flew by like so fast. I'm still blown away that it's Friday. All right. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you better. Just kidding. But seriously, you better. My name there is Rhea Hope and I did a, um, a reel. It's kind of like a very fast, it's like a 15 second tutorial, which is very difficult to fit in like everything you want to do in 15 seconds. Like so, so difficult. Um, so I did one of those really fast little tutorials, kind of like a TikTok. We know what TikTok is. Um, it's like a TikTok video but I did it on my Instagram of this eye look and it was really, really pretty. And I was blown away by your guys' response to it. You really wanted to see it live. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you exactly the makeup look that I did that day. I loved it. I felt beautiful. My, I loved how like sultry and fun my eye look was. Moody lipstick, so good. Um, something else we're gonna do today by popular demand is swatch all of the lip butters. If you haven't seen yet, the lip butters are finally back on our website. So excited. Um, the only color that's not available that already sold out is the casual Friday. Um, but I'm going to swatch it for you guys anyway. Um, and so I can have like a cute little swatch picture for you guys. So we're going to do that today too. Before we do, if I'm, I'm like dropping everything, just put it down. But uh, if I wear the color Ganza and the stick foundation, what would be the best color for me for the spray and the liquid? Um, you'll be the same color in all of those. So whatever you wear in the spray, you will be in the liquid and the stick. It's all the same type of formula. The only color difference when it comes down to our makeup line is the concealer. You typically will go one shade lighter um, than whatever you're using, one to two shades. And then for the pressed powders, you'll be a different shade because pressed powder tends to run light in color so if you were to get your true shade in the pressed powder say you wear the shade taffeta and you got the taffeta pressed powder it's not it's going to look lighter so you want to go a shade up in your powders does that make sense so a shade lighter in your concealer shade up in your powder but if you guys need to be color matched just comment color match in the comments and i'll message you i'm a little bit behind on my messages um just because it was on our anniversary and then i had too much wine but <laughs> to be totally honest, but I will be messaging everyone back today. So make sure to comment color match in the comments if you need to be color, if you need to be color matched. I haven't had coffee in a week and today I'm having coffee. All right, so we'll get started. How about that? I did clean my makeup brushes yesterday, which was wonderful. Yesterday or day before yesterday? I know. I was watching um, The Bachelor and the wine just got the best of me. I was just like having the best time. Just, you know, just in the moment. And then you wake up the next morning and you're like, what did I do? Why did I do that? <laughs> dry January. I was never doing really dry January. I was just trying to eat healthier in January and I will get back on track. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, anywho. Thank you. Thanks, Deborah. I didn't go a week without coffee. I went a week without Starbucks. I should say that. Big difference. I can't go a day without coffee. That that doesn't happen. If I were the shade chiffon and the spray foundation, what shade should I get in the concealer? Taffeta for you, Amanda. Hello from Indiana. Okay, so for today's coverage, I, I'm literally just recreating the whole look that I did the other day. So for today's look, we're going to do the liquid, fu liquid, fu liquid fudge, the liquid touch foundation. Um, oh my God, the cat. I saw this. Oh my gosh. I know. She was so funny. Um, aw, thanks, Kimberly. Can you use the face primer on your eyelids before applying makeup? Yes, I apply my primer all over my face, on my eyes. I rub it like really close under my eyes. I'll put it all over my lips. I even take it down my neck. Like I put that stuff everywhere. I wore our wealthy lipstick and it stayed on all night throughout the cleaning at my dentist. Wow, that is some good hold. That's really good hold. Okay, so like I was saying, we're gonna do the uh, liquid fudge, <laughs> liquid touch foundation. 
in the shade Lace today. So this is one of my absolute favorite coverages because it's going to be super buildable. And I love it too because when it first goes on, it kind of goes on a, not sheer, but like more of a lighter coverage. So you can really have like the ability to get whatever type of coverage that you want from this. Another really cool factor of our Liquid Touch Foundation is it actually has ingredients in it that help to produce collagen in your skin. So it's actually helping you to age backwards. There was um, some photos that I had posted from when I first started Unique and when I first started using this foundation. And I used this foundation alone, like not the stick, not the spray, nothing. It was just this foundation for probably around two years. And I was looking at the photos and I, I literally look like I've aged backwards. My skin... The elasticity in my skin alone has, it's just, it's incredible. And that, this foundation and the skincare are the only things that I changed. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm like, I didn't start eating healthier. If anything, I started eating worse. <laughs> So those really, the foundation, this guy right here, the Liquid Touch Foundation, I'm wearing the shade Lace and our skincare. And if you need my skincare regimen, I cannot stress enough how incredible it is. It has literally transformed my skin. I used to not feel comfortable without makeup, like at all. And now I could kind of care less if I'm wearing makeup, which is so unheard of for me. Like I wouldn't even leave the house without a little bit of coverage because my dark circles were so bad. My unevenness in my skin tone was so terrible. It's so many dark spots and acne scars and it was just a hot mess. Now my skin feels firm. It feels bright. It's even. I, it, ugh. I can't. It's so good, you guys. So if you have um, been wanting any type of foundation, make sure to grab the Liquid Touch or just message me and I can give you a color match. My necklace is from... Oh, where's my necklace from? Uh, where is my necklace from? Let me... I'll get back to you on that. I'm going to think. It's either from Casey Chic Designs or it's from Southern Classy, which... I'm trying to remember where I got it, but I have a discount code for her, both of them. So message me, and by the time I get off this, I'll do some research and I'll find my, my uh, link to my necklace. My mom's skincare routine, perfect, I'll message you that. The skincare does make me feel so good without makeup, I love that. Hi from Utah. All right, so we're gonna just kinda blend this in all over, but look at how beautiful that coverage is, you guys. It's so soft. It goes on liquid and dries into a powder finish. So I really love that you get this really soft complexion when you're wearing the Liquid Touch. Now, you can add a little bit tiny, like a little bit more just to go in with the blending buds, which is these guys right here. And this is going to really compress the makeup down into place. And it's going to be really, really amazing for smoothing everything out. So if you have large pores, fine lines and wrinkles, anything like that, this is going to be the best for smoothing all of that out and just making your makeup look even more full coverage. I did my mom's makeup, what was it, on Wednesday here on Facebook. So if you missed that, make sure to catch that on the replay. And I talked a ton about how important the blending buds are, especially for fine lines. If I have eyelet foundation, what color should I use in the contour for stick? Chenille, yes. I would do the shade chenille. All right, so now for concealer, I'm gonna use the shade Organza on my under eye, and I'm just gonna apply it kind of like in a, um, like an upside down triangle shape. And the reason that you wanna do it in this shape is it's going to really elongate your under eye, which is gonna help it to look so much more brighter, tighter, more youthful, and it's really gonna elongate this this area. So if you have really sunken in under eyes, I kind of have that face shape also. So this really helps to elongate that section. So again, this is the Skin Solution Concealer. And I talk a lot about how much I love this concealer because it actually has caffeine infused in it. So it's going to actually give you like a firming, like an eye lift while you're wearing it. So it's like two birds, one stone. It's the best. Yes, I will message you both the skincare and for color matching. Mm -hmm. My shirt is from Pink Lily, and you could use the code REA20. About how many drops of liquid do you use? I never seem to get it right. Hmm, that's a tough one because I don't really do drops. I just kind of like squeeze the topper. So I would say maybe like half of a syringe of the foundation. Um, I thought I saw a message. 
that on late what foundations to use i'm using the liquid touch foundation in the shade lace okay so now sorry i'm like getting confused because i was seeing people talk to each other and i thought they were talking to me <laughs> but they're not so it's fine <laughs> okay so now what i'm gonna do is use my dry blending bud so this one's actually just from like walmart i just like it because it's flat but any dry beauty blender will be perfect for this step so you're gonna spritz it with the setting spray and then I'm going to take my Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. So I actually used this in uh, the tutorial on my mom, but I used it with the little mesh plating in it. And I showed you guys how to use it differently. So if you do have more mature skin or dry skin, you can still utilize this product. You're just going to want to use it the way that I used it on my mom, which was with just an angled brush. And we just kind of tapped and blended it on in the areas that she needed it, which is pretty much just like her under eye and T-zone. She's dry everywhere else so we use the press powder to set those areas which i'm going to show you guys how to too so like i said you can still utilize this product i just like i said pop the mesh plating off um you'll just use less of it to get the same effect so i'm going to use my fan brush to sweep away any excess of this and then like i said this is going to draw out the natural oils of your skin and trap them so instead of those natural oils pushing against your foundation making it look greasy or shiny or just come off altogether, it's going to be absorbed into that setting powder so it's perfect for getting your uh, makeup to last all day especially if you work like in a kitchen or you're going through menopause or anything like that um, will really help Okay, so now for pressed powder, I'm gonna use the shade Satin, which I am so pumped because it's actually back in stock. The Mineral Touch, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, this is my favorite pressed powder we've ever had, we've ever used. I just love the way it applies. So, but there's not like a gigantic difference between this and then the other, which is the Unique Touch pressed powder, there's two. Um, so there's not like a huge drastic difference in the two, but I just love this color on my skin so if you I can also wear the shade taffeta so if you um wear the shade taffeta as well you can wear the shade satin they're like so close in coverage wise um no if you got a friend request from me it's not me so please block them and I am not doing any 1,000 5,000 3,000 $500 giveaways and if you ever get a message from me saying you won a giveaway I will not ask for your credit card information like with any giveaway like if even if you were doing it like with a blogger or anything like on Instagram they will never ask for your credit card information or your bank information so block them because it's not who you think it is these people and I'm not hacked either some people will message me and go you've been hacked I'm not hacked I have like the highest security on my Facebook and Instagram and all my information is totally safe because I have been hacked before and it was awful um so what they do is they just steal photos from Google of me and then pretend that they are so if you get any friend request message and I I quotes am asking for your credit card information your banking information block immediately which is funny because they even like message me I'm like, um, I know you're not me. <laughs> yeah, just block them. Um, okay, so pressed powder. So we're using the shade Satin, and I'm going to use it on a big, giant kabuki brush to apply it very softly and evenly to my skin. What I was saying, too, why I'm so excited is the shade Organza is back in stock, which is lighter than the shade Camlet. So if you've tried the shade Camlet and that was too dark for you, Organza will be perfect. The shade Velour is back in stock, which Velour was like my color like for years and years and years until I got like a little bit tanner. So on my winter months, Velour is my color and it's so good. It's not yellow undertoned. It It's am <clears throat> choking. It's amazing. It's very soft on your skin and it will set everything without changing and altering um, the skin tone too much. So Velour is a great color. And then the shade Chiffon is back in stock. So Chiffon will be similar to the shade Jacquard, but less yellow undertoned. Um, so Chiffon is amazing color. And then also the um, shade Satin, which is what I'm using. So cannot stress enough. And like I said, they just restocked and they've been out of stock for months and months. So if you've been waiting for... Um, a good press powder go grab those ones before they're gone which again rayahopebeauty.com is where you're going to find it and then it's called the touch mineral press powder is the one i'm talking about 
and it's right here, rayahopebeauty.com. And if you're not sure what color pressed powder you are, just message me a selfie facing a window or just comment color match in the comments and I'll let you know what color you are. Okay, so now for contouring, I'm gonna use another pressed powder and the shade Voil is a really good color for doing this because it's a very light color on your skin and it's not like so overly brown or bronze or anything it just simply gives you this wonderful kind of structure to your skin so it really does help to make your makeup almost match better and just look softer on your complexion um tammy if i'm using the shade island it seems a little light what shade should i get satin will be your color tammy i haven't seen you in live oh that's weird which actually i'm so glad you said that becky because i did want to mention that some people I have been seeing say like, oh, I haven't seen you live in for so long. I've been live like all the time, like the same amount of time that I usually. So if you haven't been seeing me live, it's actually Facebook being a brat. So what you want to do if you feel like you haven't been seeing me is go to my page, Raya Hope, and like and comment on like five or six posts. Even if it's like, hey, hi, an emoji, whatever, that's going to kind of solidify like our friendship here on Facebook. It'll tell Facebook, hey, I'm interested in seeing her page, so show it to me instead of hiding it. So comment on like five or six posts, um, like and comment, and that will like put me back up on um, kind of like the radar of Facebook. So make sure to do that. If you feel like you haven't been seeing me lately, make sure you do that today. And then also the same thing is on Instagram too. So they're owned by the same people. So if you aren't um, engaging is what it's called, which engaging means like liking and commenting. If you're not engaging with me on Instagram, the same thing will happen there. So make sure to head to Instagram and my Facebook page, which are both called Raya Hope, and like and comment on the last couple posts that I've done. Um, that way it'll come back. Also something fun too, up here in the top right hand corner, those three dots, you can click those and you can turn on live notifications. Yeah, sometimes the notica notifications get turned off. Mary, that's Facebook. Facebook will straight up turn off your notifications. They are uh, they're a real um, joy. So make sure to turn those on. Top right-hand corner. All right, so now for blush, I'm going to use the shade Sisterly in my pressed blush. This is one of my favorite colors because it gives you that really gorgeous, like, sheeny shine to your skin. Almost like a highlight, but it's like a highlight and blush all in one. Not you saw the social stuff. I know social media has like turned into like such an intense thing. So I totally get it that it's like confusing and weird, but I'm so happy to help answer anyone's questions about it because this has been my job for the last five years. So I'm no expert, but I have learned a lot in the last five years. So if you haven't been seeing me, that's what you got to do. Head over to Instagram, Raya Hope, like and comment. And then same thing here on Facebook. I know, so ridiculous, right? But it is what it is. Okay, so now for highlight, like I said, we want that really glowy kind of finished look. So we're gonna use the Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Pearly. And then after I'm done doing my makeup, I'm actually gonna hop back here on Facebook to do my hair with the La Waver. So make sure to tune back in to see that. I know, Olivia, so here's the trick. If you don't wanna see political posts, don't comment or like them and they'll start to go away like I never see political stuff on my Facebook because when I see it I just don't engage in it so again we're talking engagement so if you want to see more of my stuff like and comment and then it kind of you have the ability to make Facebook what you want you just have to know how to play their game so that's how to play it Okay, so for brows, I'm going to do the brow pencil in the shade medium, and I talk so much about this brow pencil because I love it. It has a super, look at this, super, super dainty little tip, so you get the most precise application for your brows. So what I do is I follow the natural shape of my eye. So I'll go from the tear duct straight up, and I'll kind of etch it there, like just a little line. And then once I've done that, then I'll take it from the corner, and then I will just drag it to the corner of the arch like that same thing underneath something to keep in mind with your brow pencil is use a light hand if you're pushing super super hard then you get really really dark lines and you'll get really dark eyebrows if you want something or if you want your brows to look really natural and soft but still structured so it still like gives you that eye lift use a light hand but the brow pencil is hands down my favorite tool I have ever used on my eyebrows. 
just like that. Now look at that difference, you guys. One eyebrow done versus not. Isn't that crazy? Look how much more room it looks like I have on this side. Oh, you scared me. Sorry. Um, say hi. Tell your family. Oh, they have friends. <laughs> Do you yeah. call them family? Yeah, I was going to say family. Hi, family. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hi, family. Okay, so on this side, same thing. Etch a little line. You should do my makeup one day. You want me to do your eyebrows right now? Thank you. My ring was from is from Lavender Blue, and you could use the code Rhea20 on her website. She has my favorite statement rings. Okay, so like I was saying, um, tear duct up to the arch. Same thing down here. And then color in. So I actually got my eyebrows waxed um, the other day. And we, we, she took too much off here on the side. Like, look at that difference, you guys. <laughs> so here's how to fake it. And this is perfect, a little perfect tutorial. I should have thanked her. Because this is what you'll do if you don't have eyebrows. <laughs> so if you have like super sparse eyebrows, you're like, Rhea, I want to follow the natural shape, but I don't have any eyebrows. Fake it till you make it, sis. So I'm literally just drawing it on. Now look. They match. Close enough. So again, I love how natural looking this brow pencil is. So, so good. And then I wear the shade medium. And you can also like really... Uh, lighten it up with the spoolie side so like comb it through with a heavier hand and that will will lighten it up too my ring is from lavender blue which I'll give you guys the link in the comments or you can message me my code is Raya 20 on her website yes the brow pencil is in the shade medium and if you need to be color matched for the brow pencil or any product just comment color match in the comments okay so now for this eye look we're gonna be doing the same look that I did um, in my if you follow me on instagram i did it there i did just like my eyeshadow there so i'm going to kind of recreate it here so we're going to first off do the eyeliner in the shade perfect and i love our eyeliners because they're super creamy they glide straight on and they have amazing hold they don't like build up in your tear ducts or smudge or smear or give you like raccoon eyes so I'm going to apply this on the top and bottom line, water line. And they're only $15 too, which is the best. So that was the eyeliner in the shade Perfect, just to begin to give us that really sultry look that we're going for. What, where do I find the post of you doing your mom's makeup? Lynn, if you head to my Facebook here on Facebook, <laughs> my page here on Facebook, if you tap on my face, a little description window will pop down and you'll see my name, Rhea Hope. Click on my name. It'll take you to my Facebook page here on Facebook and you can see it there. You'll just scroll down and you'll see my, my mama's beautiful face. My necklace, I will go ahead and link after my live, um, head over to Instagram and I will link it there. I will get more tattoos. I just don't know when or where <laughs> eventually. Okay. So for the eye look, we're going to be using the addiction palette eight, which is one of unique's brand new eyeshadow palettes. It is so much fun. It has greens and reds and yellows and golds. It has mattes and shimmers. It is like the funnest palette ever. And I love that all of these colors are very warm and very kind of like um, easy to blend with. So they all work together. So really, really wonderful palette. The first thing that you're going to want to get is the fluffy crease brush, which is this guy right here. And you can find it right here on my website, rayahopebeauty.com under tools. And then my palette you'll find under the eyeshadow section. So we're going to take this shade Revived which is this really fun warm orange. And I'm gonna tap it in to this, swirl into the mirror and then tap off. Do I ever touch up my makeup during the day? Hardly ever. Um, I feel like the only time I may touch it up is if we're like going out to dinner or something. And all I do is I take my powder brush, my, my pressed powder, and I'll touch up just my T-zone. That's it. Like I never have to touch up my face or my lips if I'm wearing the matte lipsticks. That's how good this makeup is, you guys. So, so good. All right, so we're going to take Revive on top of the fluffy crease brush. And now we're going to apply this on the crease of our eye. And I'm going to keep my eye open when I'm doing this step. And this is going to force my hand to go a little bit higher up. I am going to use a little bit lighter of a hand so um, the color goes on lighter. But what we're doing is we're kind of like 
working backwards. So this will be what you see underneath. So we're gonna apply this on the, kind of the crease section and the brow bone. And what you wanna think while you're doing this is rainbow, rainbow, zigzag. So it kind of forces you to like move your hand. It's pigmented when it looks like on here, but look at that, that's this color. Doesn't look that pigmented, right? It's very soft. So you might think like, oh gosh, I, I can't use those colors. They're so bright or they're so dark, but they're really not. They are like the perfect amount of pigmented. And you don't want something too under pigmented or else you're here all day putting more and more on. You want that really happy medium, which is what this is. Uh, it's a shadow hypoallergenic. I don't know exactly what makes something hypoallergenic to be completely transparent with you. But if you go to my website, rayahopebeauty.com, they have the full ingredients list. If you're allergic to something, you can check that out there. Um, but I have a ton of clients that have really sensitive skin and they use this makeup without any issue. Yeah, if you get any friend requests from me, it's not me. So please block them. Yes, perfect. Sonia, Sonia says, I have very sensitive eyes and unique shadows never bother me. So hopefully that answered it. Okay, so now that is revived all over. Such a gorgeous, fun, like warm orangey color. I'm going to wipe off any of that left. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Profound, which is a kind of a dark brick red. So again, we're going to tap the same brush, the fluffy crease brush, and swirl into the mirror and tap off. Will foundation concealer colors be on your page? Yes, Lynn. Everything is going to be under rayahopebeauty.com. And then all of the foundation concealers will be under the face section. And if you have any trouble on my website finding anything that you're wanting, just message me here on Facebook and I'd be so happy to help send you whatever you need. All right, so now I have very sensitive skin and I have no problem, says Tina. Okay, so now we're going to take the shade Profound and just work this in the outer corner, kind of thinking like a Pac-Man mouth or like a V or a triangle shape, just in the outside. And then I'm going to very lightly kind of dust this onto the brow bone area as well. Grab a little bit more for the other side. And then same thing here. And I also do always upload my makeup looks to my looks tab here on Facebook. So if you want to shop the whole look, if you go to my website, rayahopebeauty.com, click shop now to get into the website and you'll click on looks. In the looks tab, you can browse the looks or you can just type in my name, Raya Hope, and all of my looks will pop up. So you can check that out there and it'll have the full product list. And what's really cool too is you can either remove things off of that list or you can add everything to the list to your cart, I'm sorry. And you can also change the colors to it. It's a really, really convenient um, shopping app. So head to my website, rayahopebeauty.com for that. All right, so now that I have that color there, now I'm gonna take the liner shader brush, which is this guy, just for the liner side. And I'm gonna grab the shade Profound again, and I'm literally just like tapping it in there. And then I'm going to drag this along the lower lash line. And this is just gonna give it that really kind of cohesive finished look. And then I always kind of like press it up like that. Even the skincare has never bothered me. I love the eye makeup remover too because it doesn't have any fragrance as well. Awesome. Loved watching your mom's makeup. Have you ever done a full glam on her? I have, yeah. She's more of a minimalist with her makeup. But I have done it once on her. I notice you guys use the same brush for all the colors. Yes. How would you do hooded eyes? Mine are quite heavy. Paula, so when you're doing your hooded eyes, I would make sure to keep your eyes open for the majority of the makeup look, of the eyeshadow look, and that will really kind of help to push those colors upward. I'd also use really kind of bright colors, like the shade Reverent in the liquid eyeshadow or the shade Optimistic in the pressed eyeshadow to really kind of um, open up your eyes. Also, a white eyeliner would be really beneficial for you, too, like the shade Pristine in the eyeliner. What information do you need to be matched? Uh, Kathy, all I need is a selfie facing a window. So if you press on my face right now, a little description window will pop down and you can message me. Um, you'll see the option to message me. So you'll just send me a selfie or you can comment color match and I'll message you. 
All right, so now for the star of the show, we're gonna use the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Ornate. And this is a really, really pretty kind of a like goldy bronze color, but it is one of the prettiest colors on and it's so easy to use. So you just literally mark up your eye and then you're gonna take the cream shadow brush and you're just gonna kind of blend this out by just tapping. I'm not really pushing super hard. I'm just kind of like moving the product around while it dries. It dries very quickly and it's actually smudge proof and crease proof. So it's literally perfect for creasy or wrinkled um, or oily eyelids. And then I'm gonna take my fluffy crease brush and using a firmer hand, I'm going to just kind of massage that disconnect of where the product is and where the product is not. And that will help to blend it out and make it look a little bit softer. And that's it. That's the whole eye look. Is that not fabulous? It's so easy. I just received the Seam Lash Serum and the, and the eye makeup. Oh, yes. I love those. That combination is so good for making your lashes grow which if you're trying to make your lashes grow, cannot recommend enough the Esteem Lash Serum and the, ooh, man, I told you I'm dropping everything today, and the cleansing stick. Good thing I have another. All right, so again, tap, 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 tap. It blends out so easy. No skill needed. And again, you're just gonna put this on the eyelid and then as soon as you feel like you have it like really blended, then I'm gonna take the fluffy crease brush and just kind of use a heavier hand to blend that out more. Can you help me color match? I sent you a message. Yes, I will, absolutely. Why do you tap the excess eyeshadow off on the brush? So the reason that you wanna do that is one, to prevent, like she said, to prevent fallout. And two, it's going to make the eyeshadow go on lighter. So someone had said, I'm scared to use those colors. They look really pigmented. To make them look less pigmented, you'll tap off a lot of that excess. So it makes it look um, softer on your eyes. So it's not so dark or so bright, if that makes sense. All right, so now we're pretty much done, you guys. So I'm going to use my fluffy crease brush and just kind of make sure everything looks really soft and really blended before we call it a day with our eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take literally any brush is fine. And we're going to take the pressed eyeshadow in the shade Optimistic, which is this really pretty champagne. And I'm going to pop this on the inner corner of my eye. And this will just really illuminate that, that little area. Almost like the side of your nose is where you'll put it. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? All right, and then we're going to set our makeup. I always usually take that in my blending bud and really kind of work it onto the outside corner just to like smooth that out. And then you can always take like an empty brush, like the blending brush, and just kind of work this on the edge there just to soften that up too. What color liquid eyeshadow? We use the shade Ornate. Yes, Ornate. So setting spray. And we use that all over. And what that does is it adds moisture into your foundations, which make them look, which makes your foundation look so much more natural and it helps it to expand. It also is going to prevent any transferring and it helps just keep your makeup in place. It's kind of like hairspray for your makeup. It doesn't feel like you have anything on your face when it dries and it just makes everything just feel so much more amazing. Uh, where do you get the lash grower? Margie, that's going to be underneath lashes on my website. It's called the Esteem Lash Serum, and it's only $24. It's such a good deal for that. Ornate is the liquid eyeshadow color. Does the setting spray feel like you have hairspray on your face? It does not. It doesn't feel like you have anything on your face when you're done with it. What do you wash your brushes every time and what do you use? I wash them once a week, Lori, typically on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. <laughs> And um, I use a laundry detergent bar called Zote. I actually have the link to that saved, like the tutorial on how I clean them, saved on my Instagram. If you want to watch the replay on that, you'll go to my Instagram, which is Raya Hope. I saw another question. My ring is from Lavender Blue, and you could use the code Raya20. Um, if you get any message from me saying you want anything, it's not me, so block them. For a starter pack and message me and I can help you build a little starter kit. And then the deals are still happening on my 
my website, which if you are not aware, the deals are that you get a free mascara when you purchase $75 and you get a free mascara and the free liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverent if you spend $125 plus free shipping. And if you spend $175, you get the free mascara, the free liquid eyeshadow, and a free uh, liquid lipstick. How often do I go through setting spray? This is actually very impressive. I use this four times in my makeup routine and I go through a bottle in about six months, five to six, which is incredible for how long that lasts for how much I use it. All right, so now for lashes, we're gonna do the lash primer first. And I always start off with this. This is like the best product for making your lashes look so long. It's also amazing for helping them to curl and for hydration. So we apply just like one little baby coat of that. Is the cream shadow brush actually a brush or is it or a paddle? It's a brush. It's kind of like a concealer brush, but smaller. Yes, Velour, I'm sorry, Voil in the Unique Press Powder is in stock. All right, so now for mascara, we're going to do the twisted mascara and this is hands down my favorite mascara because like we're talking about lash growth this actually has biotin argan oil and keratin infused in it so it's actually helping your lashes to grow while you're wearing it and I love it too because it doesn't flake or smudge or anything it stays right where you put it and I love the applicator it has these like teeny tiny little bristles so you get like the best precise application with it. You don't get like clumpy eyelashes or spider leggy eyelashes or anything like that. So we're gonna do one coat of this from the base of the lash all the way up and then don't forget the back side of the lashes. And then I'm gonna do another coat. on Both sides. And then I'm gonna use the teeny tiny little wand here that comes with it to really fine tune it. And this is like the perfect applicator one if you have really small lashes. So my mom actually has a little bit shorter of lashes. So I love using this wand on her to do like the whole mascara look. Oh, hi Holly. Make sure to head to my page, Raya Hope, and like and comment on like five or six different posts. That way Facebook will start showing my lives to you more. And then also make sure to head to the top three little dots up there and turn on live notifications. Then I'm going to put it on the bottom lash line. And if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know I didn't actually used to wear mascara on the bottom lash line because every mascara I've ever used would smudge on my face because my lashes have gotten so long from using the Esteem Lash Serum. And this is finally the first and only mascara I've ever been able to use that doesn't smudge or leave a bunch of marks all over my face. Okay, so that was the Twisted Mascara. And if you want my lash growth regimen, message me or comment LASHES in all caps in the comments. But to uh, speed answer it, I use the Cleansing Stick, the Esteem Lash Serum, the Lash Primer, and the Twisted Mascara. That's like my before and after and everything. Okay, so now for 4D Mascara, I'm gonna do one coat of this. And I love how this kind of just like adds a little bit, look at the difference, just a little bit of zhuzh to your eyelashes. This is the one that has the fibers infused in it. So it's the perfect like topper of mascara. Twisted mascara is my all time favorite. I've used high end and drugstore mascaras. I could not agree with you more. All right, so for lips, I told you I was gonna do a lip swatch, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So the first one I'm gonna swatch is the color Casual Friday. If you are new here, the, um, Lip butters, they just came back in, in full stock besides this one just sold out. So I'll do this one first, get it out of the way. But the lip butters are really, really great because they have, hold on. <laughs> they have shea butter and vitamin E infused in them. So they're perfect for nourishing. Okay, so that is Casual Friday. I did it very light. Let me take a little swatch pictures for myself. So this one is really great because it's kind of like a brown, like a nude, and it kind of will change any color that you're wearing of um, your 
whatever lipstick you have on. It'll kind of add like a brown tone to it, which I love. So again, this was the shade Casual Friday. Really, really pretty, very soft. Hopefully that will restock ASAP. Let me wipe this up actually. I can use this. And like I said, they're very nourishing. So if you have dry lips, you'll love them. Okay, so that was Casual Friday. Now we're gonna do the shade Spa Day. This one is gonna be more of like your very nude, almost like a clear. So this will be the perfect one if you want something, just add sheen to your lips. So if you have like a lipstick, a matte lipstick, or maybe you feel like your lips feel dry, this is a perfect one for applying over top of it. So like I said, it has shea butter and vitamin E in it. It's kind of like a cross between a lipstick and a chapstick. It's like a really happy medium. It almost looks like a gloss without like the sticky feeling, if that makes sense. So that is the shade Spa Day. I'm gonna take my picture. Oops, sorry. Okay, so that's Spa Day. It's really soft, really easy. Wipe this one off and then the next one we are gonna do is the shade quick getaway or getaway car okay now we're gonna do quick getaway which is another nude but this one's gonna be a little bit more like darker So I wanted to show you guys what these look like on by themselves without any lipstick or any um, like lip liner or anything like that. Okay, so this one I'm actually going to use today, but that is Quick Getaway. I love this one because it's more of like a pinky, like a pinky nude. So really, really love this one. I'm actually gonna keep this one out because we're gonna use it. And then the next three are darker. So if you're like, okay, I like those. Those are perfect toppers. <laughs> yeah, the getaway car. <laughs> okay, next one. This one is called Beach Bonfire. This one is gonna be way peachy and it's so pretty. How fun is that one? All by itself. I love too because these have more of like that sheen to them. They make your lips look so pouty. Really love this one. So pretty. So again, this one is Beach Bonfire. I believe that you can buy these two in a set also if you're wanting more than one, but they're gonna be under lips on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. They would look so good on you, Kelly. But look how pigmented they are, you guys. I'm telling you, these are like a cross between a lipstick a lip gloss and a chapstick because they have shea butter and vitamin E in them. Yes, I do have lip fillers, but it's been probably four months since I've had them done. But now my lips are going to start to get really pouty because I'm like rubbing them. Okay, so now we're going to do the shade Sunday Brunch. And if you missed out on the color um, Casual Friday, this will be kind of like a very close substitute. They don't have any scent to them. If you guys were a big fan of the um, liquid lipstick in the shade Stellar, this one reminds me of Stellar, like so much. So again, this one is Sunday Brunch. Isn't that pretty? I love this color. 
I feel like I'm going to wear this one a lot more. Just like a darker nude. Yeah, which one is it your favorite so far? They don't taste like anything. Okay, last one. This is the color Scenic Drive. This is going to be the darkest one. This one is going to be like your red. But look how pigmented that is, you guys. Again, this is called Scenic Drive. And they're so creamy. I'm telling you, they really do feel like a mix between a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a chapstick. But how pretty would this be topped on just a lip liner? So good. And I love how creamy they feel. So wonderful. So again, Scenic Drive. So that are those are all of the liquid liquid lipsticks, all of the lip butters. And like I said, they're all available. Mine is Casual Friday. That's already sold out. On my website, rayahopebeauty.com. They also all do have a love it guarantee. So if you need to return any of them, you surely can. Okay. Now let's do our, what we're wearing today. <laughs> and see, I love that there's a color for everybody, whether you like something really bright, like Scenic Drive or Sunday Brunch, or if you want something more soft and subtle, like the shade Getaway, Quick Getaway. So I'm going to use the lip liner, or a lip liner, in the shade Strip Down. You can message me for the link to this. I'm going to line my lips. Okay. And it's so important to make sure you line your lips with lip liner. So it's really going to help to keep your lipstick in a place and just make everything look really, really soft and pretty on you. So now I'm going to use the matte lipstick in the shade moneyed. This is one of my favorite colors. Just like a deep nude. Let me use my finger. They really do feel like butter, right? <laughs> Oops. Okay, so that's moneyed. So pretty on. And then now I'm going to use the shade Minted in the lip the matte lipsticks to really soften this color up. And this will give you kind of like that ombre effect. Okay, so now that we have minted on, now I'm gonna top it with the lip butter in Quick Getaway. And this lightens it up even more and then also adds like a gorgeous sheen to it. Isn't that so pretty? Oof, move over Kylie Jenner. So pretty. Yes, right? So good. I love this lip combination. This is what I had on when I did my mom's makeup and you guys were loving it. So I wanted to recreate it for you. So again, that was moneyed, minted, and quick getaway for our lips today, which are all available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. If you guys need any help picking out products, if you need any help uh, picking out your skincare, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to me here on Facebook. No, it doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips. That's the best part of these liquid, or I'm sorry, the matte lipsticks they feel like nothing and they have amazing hold like all day hold unless you're eating like a cheeseburger they're gonna stay on so make sure to shop right here rayahopebeauty.com the first color was moneyed moneyed minted and quick getaway so let me know if I could be of any help to you guys comment color match in the comments if you need me to message you any recommendation or anything I'd be so happy to do so but I love you guys I'll see you soon 
Maria, it's all right here. RayaHopeBeauty.com is where you can purchase all of the makeup I just used. Um, and everything has a love it guarantee. So shop down here, RayaHopeBeauty.com. I'll see you soon. Bye.